Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to configure God mode in Windows 11, and this will actually work for, you know, Windows 10 and earlier as well. Um, but I just wanted to show you that this still works for Windows 11, and, and if you've never seen it before, it'd be kind of cool for you to see exactly what it does, because it's kind of a nice way to have a bunch of different tools all in one place. So, and it's really easy to set up. So all it involves is making a new folder wherever you want to do it. Like, let's say you want it on a desktop, or you could put it in another folder, whatever you like. So what you need to do is create a new folder, and you have to give it an exact name, which I have here. And I'll put that in the description, so you just copy and paste it. Just When you do it, make sure you have the period in there. So I'm going to copy this text. So I'm just going to right-click anywhere. New folder. And I'll just paste in the text, and when you hit Enter, you notice it doesn't give it a name, so it's not going to have that big name. It's just a blank name, and it makes just a little folder icon. And in Windows 10, it, the icon will look a little different. It kind of looks like a control panel icon. So once you've got this folder here, you can't rename it because you'll mess up the uh, text right there. So you're kind of stuck with just knowing what it is because there's no name. So when you double-click it to open it, you have all these various tools here, all categorized. So you have you know, autoplay, backup and restore, BitLocker, color management, date and time, all your devices here. If you want to, you know, add a device or look at your printers and so on, you just double click it and it'll take you right to that section. Then your ease of access, all the file explorer options, which is nice. If you want to, you know, show hidden files and folders and show or hide file extensions, it'll take you right to that setting here. If you want to run your file history or check out your file history status, you know, play with fonts. If you want to look at your installed fonts and so on, then add fonts and delete fonts, that kind of thing. Indexing options, internet options if you're using Edge, uh, keyboard settings, mouse settings, network options. This is nice to have all in one place as well. Phone and modem, no one's going to use that. Power options, programs and features. If you want to remove software, you can do that here. Change your region settings. Remote desktop if you're using a uh, Windows 11 Professional, security and maintenance, sound settings, speech, storage spaces, offline files, all these system settings here. You know, you click way to rename your computer and open task manager, taskbar settings, you know, run the troubleshooters, user account settings, Windows firewall, all these Windows tools, you know, look at your services, open the event logs. And work folder. So, it's, like I said, it's a lot of stuff all in one location. All you have to do is just make that one file or folder, I should say. Just right click, new folder, paste in the text right here, press enter, and it'll be a blank folder. Then you can just, you know, move it wherever you want and then just double click it and you have all your tools. So, give it a shot. You'll find it's uh, very useful if you like to, you know, dig around in your computer and manage all your settings all from one spot. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.